Um, they immediately <coughs> said, we'll take it. And they had a government in place that uh, been underground. The, the, immediately, the Arabs attacked. And their <coughs> model was they were going to push the new baby into the sea. So uh, they, they did <laughs> pay a tax, but they lost. Now Israel, at this time, had no real organization of government. They, they had gotten together and had a government, uh, but they weren't allowed to collect weapons, so they had them all underground a few. They got them out from <coughs> Turkey, I think, some uh, outdated uh, weapons from 1890 or something. <laughs> And uh, they, uh, they actually prevailed. And so they ended up, at the end, with actually more land. So this, this was uh, uh, not a recite before, in that there was no uh, armistice signed agreement or anything. They, they just they quit fighting, and that's where they were. Uh, the Arabs, I guess, recognize as long as they keep fighting, they're going to keep losing. <laughs> so, so they uh, they did did do this. Okay. Um, now, in 19 uh, 48, then. Israel <coughs> was applying or wanting and signing a declaration of they now had a country. It was named Israel, and they would have their own self-government. Um, the man who signed that for the U.S. was President Harry Truman. Wow. I'm going to tell, talk a little bit more about that in, in just a minute. I, I have to show this picture. I, probably most of you have seen it a time or two. Like, I met Harry Truman one time. <laughs> I was in high school, and uh, I had him all to myself for about 10 minutes at least. I don't know. I lost track of time because it was such a, a great conversation. Uh, and uh, we, we stood there. So this is me at, at age 17. <laughs> uh, Anyway, if you get to, to move. Uh, yeah, and uh, I remember uh, going through my mind, we're standing here, this man talks like anybody's grandfather. And he does. He, he showed an interest in what I was doing, and he would ask me questions, and then he would stop and listen as if he really cared about the answer. I think he did. Uh, now, it did not escape me that this is the man who had to give the order to drop the atom bomb. This is the man who fired Douglas MacArthur. Uh, yet here he was, this grandfatherly, kind gentleman, uh, very human, very, very human. Okay. Uh, now, this was this. I think, I, 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 I believe this was about 13 years after this picture uh, when I talked to him. But um, there are uh, Winston Churchill and Harry Truman and Joseph Stalin, who had won World War II, so to speak, and had uh, uh, decided uh, that they would pull out. Uh, there were some decisions that had to be made. For example, we were going great guns in uh, 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 in Germany, and we decided to pull out and stop and let Russia have the other half. Right after this picture was taken, we we all know the history of what Russia began gobbling up every country around them that they could and turning them into communists and, and basically ruining the society, ruining their economy, uh, and uh, were, were very, very uh, rough uh, rulers. Uh, 
And uh, that did not break up until about 1991. Uh, the Soviet Union. And I'm sure Al could give us a lot of stories about this. He was a young boy at that time in uh, Moldova, uh, experiencing communist rule. Uh, Okay, the uh, United Nations had a resolution to make Israel a country at this time. The powers that be of the different countries were all kind of wondering if that was a good idea. Now, here is what was going on in the United States in a brief summary. <laughs> and I, I was just, you know, a kid, like many of you, so I don't know for sure. But, um, during that time, the United States, as a whole, as a government, was not in favor of recognizing Israel. The uh, Truman's Secretary of State, uh, no, uh, Marshall, George C. Marshall, said, Mr. Truman, if you recognize this new state, I will never vote for you for anything again. The United States UN delegation were at that moment on their way to uh, the UN meeting to vote against, with instructions to vote against recognizing Israel. Other countries uh, were just as um, adamant as, uh, as they were uh, about, uh, about doing that. So uh, the vote was taken in Israel, and immediately a phone call was made to a Jewish delegation meeting in a room near the White House. They wrote up the declaration, took it over to Harry Truman, <laughs> and he signed it. Okay, within 10 minutes of the vote in Israel to uh, form their own nation, Harry Truman signed it in the face of the, there, and there was much more political opposition than that. He was uh, standing alone. Um, and, um, uh, so, uh, when I was talking to him, if I had any brains at all, which I didn't at 17, I would have asked him something like, what was going through your mind when, when you recognized Israel? Or uh, he gave the order to, to drop the atom bomb. I, you know, I was asked about that, but I didn't. But uh, somebody later on, had, I read about this, asked him, why did you do that? Why did you recognize Israel? in the face of all of this opposition. And his answer was very simple, because it was the right thing to do. <laughs> well, uh, he was a Christian, wasn't he? Uh, that's right. He was a Christian. Purportedly. Uh, he was a member of the uh, Southern Baptist Church. And uh, um, whether he knew Jesus or not, I couldn't say. I really couldn't say, but uh, uh, he, he very well, maybe. Well, ask him, ask him uh, when we get to him. See if he's there. Uh, uh, he uh, had some un Christian like characters, characteristics. You know, remember what his, his nickname was? Give him a cherry? <laughs> yeah. Because he would, he would come, if he didn't like what you said, he would use some salty language and just come at you. Yeah. And, and this is the man that talked to me like, my grandfather, I mean, I just, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, and not a cool personality, I don't think. I think he, he knew how to um, take care of things. Uh, one thing that, that Harry Truman had to do was give the order to drop the atom bomb. Okay, when Roosevelt died and Truman took over, he had not even been told that there was an atom bomb. And within weeks, he had to make the decision to drop it, drop two of them, on a country, a country of Japan. And that, that was the kind of position he was in. Uh, Roosevelt did not confide in Truman. They had never had a one-on-one -on -one meeting in all the time he was vice president. 
And now he's president. Uh, pretty unusual. Now, I think probably that had God could have been working in that because if Roosevelt had lived uh, out his term, which he didn't, he died in the middle of his term. Truman would not have been president, and uh, there's no indication that Roosevelt would have done anything but going go along with France and some of the other uh, countries that didn't want to. Yeah? I think we need to remember, and I'm sure you folks know, uh, Romans 13, it says that God is in charge. He puts in leaders, and so we have who we have right now because God gave them to us, yep. and yep. I'm sure there's a purpose for it. Yeah. Give those who, what they deserve. Yeah, yeah and I hope. I, I, we, we may run out of time <laughs> before I uh, get into that, but it, yeah, that all fits, fits in with the fact that uh, pretty soon, the, I, if I read, read Revelations right, the whole world is going to be against Israel. They're going to be standing alone, and then they will know that it was God that did it. John. Oh, just uh, John had his hand up and. <coughs> huh? Oh, were you going to say something? Yeah, I was. <laughs> but I thought somebody said something back there. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Go say, ahead, Shirley. I was just going to say, Truman sure wasn't concerned about collateral, was he? Truman. He dropped those two bombs. Civilians, yeah. No. He, he, of course, nobody knew what would happen. Yep. He was told it would be um, uh, very devastating. Uh, and uh, he, he made the decision. Uh, based on, on the tactical and so on. However, there are two things there. Uh, one is, and the people that have studied it since, said, had not Truman dropped that bomb and killed a couple of million uh, of the enemy, there would have been maybe three million U.S. died. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the other thing is, uh, if Truman had not dropped the bomb, and things would have put up the war would have lasted, he would have been criticized forever for not using a weapon that could have stopped the carnage. Yeah, yeah, Joanne? God can, does use people that are not Christian to do his will in this world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He used and, the Babylonians. Uh, I'm very grateful for that because we'd be in a world of hurt <coughs> if, if he didn't. Yeah. 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 Well, you can see God's hand in, in all of this. Uh, and I'm going to have to go fairly quickly through the, the rest of this. I, uh, I am going to get to Joshua uh, my, uh, next week. Okay. Um, <coughs> When the call came from Israel to Washington, D.C., that uh, they had voted to form a new country, they called their people in Washington, D.C., and told them that this had been done. They wrote a note. Now, this is not somebody's scribbling or notes they took during a meeting. This is the official document that recognized the state of Israel. Okay, uh, they wrote it, in, and a, a courier took it over to Truman to sign. It says, "This uh, government has been informed that the Jewish state has been proclaimed in Palestine, and recognized has been by the provisional." And and uh, they wrote in provisional government thereof. The United States recognizes the provisional government as the de facto authority in the new and uh, here in Judea uh, and uh, the, the courier himself crossed out uh, or put in provisional and crossed out the new <coughs> provisional I thought, I thought state where they had. crossed those out and pre-wrote it. Huh? Truman did that. Made the corrections. I. That's what I heard. That was a I, what I read was uh, that the pro, a courier did it on the way over. <laughs> okay. uh, but anyway, and, and I can be right. It is. Look, this is Truman's handwriting. Here is the handwriting. 
they did, but I, I yeah, it could be. I, 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 either, either one, but this is, this is what I read. He signed it, doesn't matter. That Truman signed it, and that created the new state of Israel. Uh, now, you think of all of the factors that went in there, that God was, had to been been in it, that Truman was even there, that this scrap of paper uh, made such a historic Bible uh, statement. And, um, you know, the question has been raised many times, is America in, uh, mentioned in prophecy? And the answer is no, not directly. But here is a place where America was not a key, was the key to the formation of Israel, which was essential then for the playing out of the book of Revelation. And it came down to this one man in the middle of the night, <coughs> midnight here, uh, being woken up and being willing to, to sign that thing. It's amazing, it's amazing. We, God worked. I had several other things here, but I think we're out of, out of time. Uh, that's basically uh, basically it. From from this point on, then that has been is Israel. Uh, when this was done, I, I have to give one more. The British commander, I can't remember his name, was the last one out of Israel. And they cleared out, the British, which was controlling, cleared out and left it. Uh, he, that, I, I just think that's a, a, almost a comedian thing there. His, so long, boys, <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> they had no army, they had, I think it was, they had uh, five or six Arab countries ready to pounce. That was that. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that uh, you did make things come together to fulfill prophecy. We thank you that we can trust prophecy. We thank you we can trust you. And we pray that you'd help us to uh, lean upon you and know that what you are doing in the end is, is to uh, bring the kingdom of heaven uh, to pass. And Lord, we pray that you'd help us to be about our assignment, which is to bring others in. And be with us now in the next service. Pastor preaches and pray in Jesus' name. Amen.